um, this is my first time ever reading the Bible. Well, trying to read it completely. I heard stories like everyone else, and um, I read little stories and little chapters, but this is my first time trying to attempt to read the whole thing. Every time I read a chapter, like Genesis, Exodus, and um, every time I read a, a part of the Bible, I'm going to do a, a summary so it won't be like I'm saying everything, the whole Bible at once when I talk about it. Chapter 2, verse 12, they even talk about how uh, that when they was explaining the Garden of Eden and they were just saying how there was like three rivers and one of the rivers, uh, you know, was beautiful. It had water flowing and it had like a black onyx stone like in the middle or, you know, there was a black onyx stone. And that was interesting because I was like, wow, they, they're mentioning healing stones already. Everyone knows the story of Adam and Eve, right? So everyone knows that, you know, they was kicked out of the garden for um, eating from the forbidden trees they have a uh, Cain and Abel uh, Cain was a farmer I believe and Abel was he like tend to like sheep and stuff like he was in charge of the animals they went to give God an offering a sacrifice Cain offering was the garden like what he had grew the fruits the vegetables I guess that he grew and Abel's offering was the meat God praised Abel for his offering and saying it was good and he didn't so much like uh, Cain's offering Cain got jealous I think or he, you know he got mad about that and he kills his brother Abel and um later on Eve has another son she names Seth and when she had Seth um which is crazy because I never knew that she had like I figured she had other children but I never knew that they mentioned her other children in the Bible. I never knew that Seth was like the child after Abel had died. So when Seth was actually born, uh, Eve said that God had to bless her with a kid to replace Abel, with a child to, uh, you know, a son to replace Abel. So this is when men and women started praying uh, to God, like worshiping God and praying to God because of this birth. And I never knew that either. What I gather is before that that happened, before that they was um, praying to God as how, I, I think it would be something like how it's done today. Um, there was meditation and there was always healing stones. Another thing is, it says, so the way, the way uh, everyone is being populated, the way human race is being populated is through incest. Because, you know, if you only make two people, then they're going to have to incest. So, uh, during these generations, uh, the, incest, the incest kept going. So, then Noah was born, which is a descendant of Seth, I believe. I believe that Noah came from uh, Seth's line. So, the world became very bad over the years. God saw how bad the world was. And he decided to, you know, drown everybody, uh, like a huge flood. And he told Noah to get on a boat with his family and take one of each uh, type of animal with him, uh, male and female, on a boat so they could stay alive after the flood, they could reproduce. Noah did that for like 40 days and 40 nights in rain, which was um, interesting. The 40 days and 40 nights, everyone, you know, who watches my channel who's familiar. And I did my fast 40 days and 40 nights. So that's another interesting thing. I didn't know how long it was. So they send the bird to make sure the bird gets the olive tree. You know, they're trying to see if the water goes down. So when they saw it was safe, God told them they could get off the boat. They got off the boat. They start reproducing the world, the re, you know, repopulating in the world. This is how it goes. This is how it, it's saying in the Bible. Like if I have, I have a family, my mother and father had children, right? They have four children. I'm I'm one of the child they have, right? But it's more so if I was a boy, it goes like they follow the male's family more so than the daughters. They talk more about the son's family than the daughters. So if I have if if um let's just say a boy, say if a boy, if I was a male and I was to have a kid, right? Me and my wife and our family that's that's my family that's my nation they build my kids my son's um kids and their wife that becomes my family we become a family and like it's almost like my brothers and my sisters is almost like another people like we're strangers like we're not from the same mother or something it's just weird it's like they go off and they make their family they make their nation um the family grows like I have a family uh if I was a guy I would have a family with my wife and say if we have like my seed if I was a guy my seed would would 
produce like a hundred people with my seed. That's my nation. That's my people. And it's like everybody else, my brothers and sisters with whom I grew up with, who my mother birthed is like strangers and um, cities. And, you know, it was named after me. Like if my name is uh, like Israel, for instance, all right. Someone's name is Israel. Now the people of Israel is called Israelites. And it goes for the name. So that's also another thing I didn't realize. When I thought of Israel and I thought of these places, I just thought it was just the name of the town, the place. But these are names of actual people, which I didn't I didn't know. So like so when they so when they said the children of Israel, they mean the children from this guy, this you know, this the person God spoke to. So then um God spoke to Noah and it's like this line of family from Noah family line is who the ain't God keeps on pairing to like it doesn't go generation it, he skips a couple of generations from when he talks to people so he will say each generation like he spoke to Noah first uh, Noah had a son and Noah's son had Abraham so God speaks to Abraham you know I, and then after Abraham Isaac and then after Isaac Jacob so it's like he'll say I'm the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that's how God will come to people, each person he talks to. And I guess each person that he keep on talking to, he'll add more. Like, I'm the God of this person, the God out of this person. But when you look at it, it's like everyone is related anyway, though. It's just that God is just talking to, uh, like, God is just talking to one person, like one child out of a family, because that child was the, the righteous one. So I found that interesting. And um, since it's all incest, since everyone is from like one place, really one person, it's like everyone is related to anyone. They fighting each other, like uh, the Egyptians is fighting the Israelites. And it's like, um, yeah, technically still related. When you have your family, you know, you get up, you get your nation and it's almost like um is that the purpose i'm i'm trying to figure out like the purpose the meaning is that the purpose to build them your family you leave your mother and do you go make your own family like when a man leaves his uh parents and he goes find his wife and make his family and then out of that family you know kings and king, queens are born they 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 have nations you know and it's weird because it's like is that still the purpose because um, back then, of course, the world wasn't as populated as now. So it's like, where's the space? It's like with all the laws and all the governments, where's the space for someone just to do that? What's the purpose now? It's like, that, um, I'm into healing stones. Uh, I love spiritual stuff. I love reading about it. Um, Isaac went off to the field and they said Isaac went to go meditate, you know. And uh, meditate means just really to um, ponder, to think, you know, to be in thought. So the, the fact that he went off to meditate is like, wow, they mentioned in Hill of Stones, they mentioned in meditation. So it's not a separate thing. Have um, I never said it or I never thought, but I guess I kind of thought of it. I saw it separate. Like um, I cannot put the Bible with uh, me meditating and spirit, being spiritual because I relate the Bible to being religious. So I'm glad that now I'm seeing that um, I could actually could join the two and see, but um, that's just what I took for Genesis. But yeah, that's that's what I think of Genesis. That's what I think of the, the chapter and now I'm gonna continue to read and um, I'm gonna come back every time I'm finished like reading something. Um, when the next time I come back on, I'm gonna be talking about Exodus, so yeah.